What's up guys? This is Felix and we're going to be starting a new tutorial series on Android development with a language called Kotlin. Now you may have never heard of Kotlin. It is fairly new. It's not new, but it's it's fairly new compared to Java, which is what we normally develop Android with. And a lot of people are getting really excited about Kotlin for a number of reasons. One of the big ones is that you don't have to worry as much about those nasty null pointer exceptions. Because of the way that Kotlin types its variables, you have to explicitly allow for things to be null. So it makes it a lot nicer for working around those and actually completely avoiding them altogether a lot of times. And another thing that's cool that lets you just hop right in and use Kotlin is that it's 100% interoperable with Java. So you can have an application that is partly Java and partly Kotlin and it will work just fine. And another nice thing about Kotlin, being a newer language than Java, it often is less verbose and more readable, so that lets you get your code written faster because you don't have to type as much. So these are all some really cool things about Kotlin. It's rapidly gaining traction in the Android development world, so let's learn it. The IDE that a lot of people use, you can use Eclipse, but uh, the Android Studio IntelliJ IDEA software is also compatible with Kotlin because JetBrains wrote both pieces of software, the language and the IDE. So we just want to come here and download the community version of IntelliJ IDEA. That is free. And I'm running on Linux, so I'm going to end up with a tarball. But of course you can install this on other operating systems as well. Now, I already have it downloaded, so once you get everything all set up, it has a really easy install process on Linux. All I had to do was hop into my downloads folder, extract it, and then I moved it into my apps folder and just ran the bin idea.sh and it popped right up. So here it is. I, I took it through a couple of the opening settings, like what theme do you want, some of those less significant things. And now it's prompting me to configure the Android SDK so we can start developing for Android. So let's do that. We'll go ahead and install that. Now if you're like me, I'm setting this up on a new computer so I don't have the Android SDK yet. So let's go hop over and get that. Let's go hop down here and hit next and we see the Android SDK and the platform stuff. So we just want to get all of that. Go ahead and hit next. Just here's a quick summary of everything that we're going to get. It's going to be about a gigabyte it looks like and that's perfectly fine where it's going to save it. So we'll finish and we'll let that install. Alrighty, it has finished installing. It only took it a few minutes on my computer. There we go, installed successfully. Next. And we want Java, and we'll choose Kotlin here. Looks like we're gonna have to install Java. So let's go get the JDK. I'm 
I'm just going to Google the instructions for my operating system, and you can do yours. There are plenty of good tutorials out there for how to do this. Sweet. Now that we have that, Java 8 Oracle is the one that I installed. There we go. All right, next. Here we can put our project name. Hello world. And yay, welcome. Okay, make it big. It looks like it's doing some work down here. Now I want to get the directory structure. It looks like it's telling me alt home. Oh, nope. It must just have had to finish indexing everything down there. Cool. So here's our project. If we open this up, we can see a source folder. And if we right click this and create a new Kotlin file, and let's just call it app.kt. That's the Kotlin file extension. We'll hit OK and we get this new file here and it looks like we need to configure some things so let's do that okay that should be good There we go. Nice thing about this IntelliJ IDEA software is we can type main and hit tab and it immediately generates this Kotlin code for the main function. So we just type print ln Hello world. And then we can click this little green arrow and hit run app kit. We can see it building down here at the bottom. There's a little progress bar. And there we go. It brings up this little run window and we see Hello world has been output here and it finished with no errors. Congratulations, you now have your IDE set up and we are ready to build some Android apps using Kotlin.